Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about facial contouring surgery. Facial contouring is one of the most rapidly expanding non-invasive and non-surgical facial reconfiguration methods in the cosmetic surgery business today. It is an emerging trend in some countries and its goals are to improve the proportion of the face and all facial features, as well as make the face generally smaller. There are a number of different types of facial contouring techniques and treatments that will be discussed in this video. Our role today is to answer most of the questions regarding facial contouring surgery. Today, we have Dr. Shen, who is a leading doctor at EU Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. He is going to discuss with us everything about facial contouring surgery from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, I'm Queenie, and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Okay, so uh, for facial contouring surgery, what, uh, which kind of face shape that can see effective results uh, with square jaw reduction? Mm. I would say certain people with markedly rugged facial features, either with sharp angles or prominent cheekbones, for example, they can see a real improvement. It is relatively ineffective for lantern jaws. Rather, short and wide chins show better surgery results because corrective jaw surgery can easily make a chin protrude, but it isn't so good with depressing the chin. Those would be the reasons, and in the case of square jaw reduction, patients with marks this area. We call it gonial angle. Patients with developed gonial angles can be effectively reduced through our surgery. In short, a rugged face that also appears wide when viewed from the front. That type of face can mainly see a marked benefit. Uh, so what is the difference between regular square jaw reduction and square jaw reduction by feline surgery? That's not the official term. I think the term was created so that patients can more easily understand the concept. Generally, square jaw reduction surgery refers to posterior osteotomy alone. That is, removing the posterior part of the mandible only. V-line square jaw reduction refers to reducing also the anterior part up to the chin, which results in a more natural facial contour and greater surgical effect. So, is there any age limit for facial contouring surgery? All surgeries involving the facial bone can be performed when its growth is complete. There is a difference to when this is for each person. For example, men and women differ, and within each sex, it can also be different. Generally, women's faces complete growth in high school, 16 to 18 years old, or at the end of middle school, 15 years old, if they're fast. So when patients in this age group visit our clinic, we check first if their growth is complete before proceeding. Facial bone growth is usually complete in the high school years, which means they can operate then. Men's facial growth can take a while longer to be completed, often over the age of 20. So it would be right to wait until they are over 20 years old. After facial contouring surgery, uh, when can the patient start dental treatment? Uh, mm. If the patient does not have proper oral, oral hygiene, is it possible to postpone the surgery? Mm. You have to be able to open your jaw to receive proper dental treatment, right? Until about one month after the surgery, opening your jaw may feel uncomfortable. So I would recommend receiving dental treatment after one month has passed. After one month, any treatment can be done. Concerning oral hygiene, it is of course desirable to perform surgery in a sanitary oral cavity. So if it is necessary to get your teeth scaled, or any similar treatment beforehand, it would be beneficial. And if there are cavities or inflammation in the root area, treatment is also desirable, but chronic lesions, for example, do not always mandate treatment. In order for us to perform the surgery, acute symptomatic conditions would have to be addressed prior to surgery, but chronic conditions can be addressed after the surgery. Okay, I guess that. that's yeah. it for today. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. 
Today, we'll learn many things about facial contouring surgery and the doctor explain in details everything related to this cosmetic surgery. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and respond to you as soon as possible.